Hello, welcome Hello. back to Toys TV. Chinglish time. So today we have two dishes. Yeah. The main course is Thor from Infinity War. And this is the side dish. Yeah, side yeah. dish we have Hella. Hella. So let's start with the, the main course. Yep. So uh, any comment on the Hesco? But I like it. You like it? It's still not my my favorite. Was is still the 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 one with the teeth showing. Um, it should be the Dark World version from Part Two. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the second, second movie. movie. Yeah. Uh, but this one is uh, uh, it's a nice surprise because I I know it. They will reduce the the last one from Red mm. Rock. Um, but it's slightly modified. You can look yeah. This I don't think it's just a reuse. Yeah. It's either a new head sculpt mm. or they use the old one but heavily modify it. Yeah. The shape looks a little bit different. Uh, well, he likes the one from part two, but for me, I think this is my favorite. Mm -hmm. I, I think this may be, um, like for my impression, the, the most accurate uh, Thor uh, from all the other figures. Yeah, of course, the, the, uh, the last one, the last figure is also, uh, it was a nice figure. I like him with short hair, maybe. The Last temple. time, the temple is too narrow. Yeah, the temple is narrow because of uh, the helmet. They yeah. have, to, I think, they part they have to make it narrow on purpose to fit to, the helmet. just to fit the helmet on. Mm -hmm. And this time, there's no helmet and there's no um, parting line on the hair from the side because you cannot take the the top part of the hair off. So they have uh, more room to make it more accurate. Yeah, and uh, from what I can tell is. Other than the eye patch, the area on top of the eye patch and below, there's a scar. Mm -hmm. And on the right side uh, of the temple, there's also uh, like a haircut line. Uh, they don't have that on the last figure. What about the body shape? I think you, you said you have some yeah, good the, comments. The right? second complaint I have <laughs> with the last uh, Rhino Rock figure, the shoulder it looks weird. It's um, too slender. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's because of the, the how the cloth is uh, fit on his body. Mm. But anyway, I don't have this problem this time with this figure, so it's a good surprise for me. Yeah, mm. the the shape looks very nice, and uh, he he works out all the time, right? So mm. I, I can tell like, oh, this guy he really works out, and yeah. you can see like you know his chest muscle mm -hmm. and also the abs. It's from somebody who uh, who has really fit body. Oh, let's make. Yeah. Uh, we forgot to mention one thing. This is not how it looks when it took out oh, from yeah. the from the box. But we uh, decided to show to you guys from chronologically from how it was in, in the movie. Yeah, at so, the beginning of the movie. So this is the look from the beginning of the yeah. movie, and uh, but out of the box is his final form with that uh, pair with of, the cape pair of and arms. then a different pair of arms. And we'll show you later. Yeah, I think it's more dramatic, so we save <laughs> yeah. it for later. We 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 go for dramatic. Yeah. Yeah. About the arms, we, we like also the, the nice uh, scouting of, you, you can see a little bit of uh, arm hair, but it's, it's in not, the, in the uh, forearm, yeah, yes. but it's not paint like on Wolverine, uh, but you can, you still can see them. It's on the scalp itself, yeah. and of course this pair of uh, arms are made of silicone, Yeah. so it does have that problem of, you know, if you bend the arm for a long period of time, uh, the crease will uh, eventually eat in and break. Define yeah. long period of time. To me, it's like not even one minute. <laughs> one minute? <laughs> yeah, try. If you keep it uh, oh. like bending like this uh, yeah. over a few minutes, uh, you'll get... Uh, you got the crease already? Yeah, oh, but, wow. no, but they, they are not permanent. Mm. That they, will go, uh, they will disappear like uh, after one hour maybe. Mm. But of course, if you keep it branding like this over one day or two, yeah. uh, shit will happen. But you do have the best of both worlds. This mm -hmm. this is a different kind of style. It, it's also rubber coated, but it's not silicone. Yeah, this so is... So hopefully uh, this I one... I think this is PVC. This one mm -hmm. may last a little bit longer, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about the pants? Well, it looks cool, but uh, this material, uh, once again, is um, it's fragile. Yeah. This is uh, I call it PU. PU. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it's the same thing. Yeah. It's just uh, some synthetic leather. It's yeah. made of uh, plastic-like material, so which means over time it's just gonna disintegrate by itself. Like this. Like my <laughs> <when> Thanos <laughs> go like this. <laughs> and there's pretty much nothing you can do. There's nothing to put on to to make it last longer. So. It's sometimes I, I don't know. Sometimes I think it depends on the weather, temperature, 
uh, humidity, maybe. Yeah, if it's hot and humid, it's it's gonna be worse. Yeah. Uh, but still, if you have the figure and you don't take it out, you keep it in the box for a long time, it's gonna disintegrate by itself anyways. Yeah. So might as well just take it out and enjoy it. Yeah, uh, like one of our co-hosts uh, uh, always say, it's better to die in your hands than die, than in, the die box. in the box. <laughs> so play with it. Yeah. yeah. And I really like the design of it. Yeah, it, it looks It reminds cool. me of Mad Max mm -hmm. and uh, maybe Fist of the Star, which is inspired by Mad Max. Mm -hmm. uh, the design is really cool. Uh, these, maybe the, the tailoring needs some fine tune. Yeah, okay. I, I'm not, well, I won't call it the uh, tailoring problem. Mm. It's much more, uh, maybe, fitting. yeah, the fitting problem. Fitting problem. So I know okay. some uh, collector will uh, pull out the pants and, and maybe put it back on put again. It back again to better adjust it. Yeah, the, the uh, thing is, is the, the part below the knees, mm -hmm. it looks like it's kind of twisted yeah. to the side. And we try to do it by itself like this. And it's a little bit difficult to adjust. It doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't really work. I think maybe you need to f uh, feel some soft materials uh, around the knees and then put the pants back on. Mm. Maybe that will fix the problem. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Okay. And uh, the boots, they look that's nice. Weathering. Also. Yeah. That's weathering on the sheen guard. Very subtle. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a good surprise. Mm. It looks very realistic. And they uh, also come in two parts. Yeah, like the ankle joints area. You, you really have to look for it to be able to see it's actually mm. two parts. So it, yeah, that one is cool. Yeah, mm. and I like the shoes too. Like the boots itself, it looks really modern. Yeah, yeah. But, well, but once again, this the it's not really a particular complaint. This uh, my complaint to all one six figure is the the joints not the ankle joints. Yeah, it's too weak. After ten years of uh, well, development, figure development uh, no one think of something yeah. more. You know. It needs to be a lot stiffer than what it is right now, because yeah. the entire figure, uh, on how it stands, it all depends on the ankle joint. Mm. That's like the first joints to to support the whole figure. So if this part is weak and loose, mm. there's no there's no help. Yeah. There's no use. But I'm not saying that uh, this four has the particular uh, weaker joints than uh, comparing to the others. I mean all but figures. Yeah, it's just average. Yeah, yeah. yeah on average, most of so them. I hope are, someday yeah. someone will come up yeah. with a new solution. You see the problem is it either falls back like this yeah. or it falls forward like this. So this joint is so important. Uh, about this look, uh, there's one thing is the eye patch. Mm -hmm. So we have... Uh, what, uh, there were two of them. There are two of them. Yeah. So um, I'm not sure uh, which is which. I think the the one with the, um, the gold line, line too, yeah. is what he has. In before the yeah, before the fight with uh, Thanos, mm. and after the fight, I think it's uh, got some crack and it's a little bit broken. Mm. Yeah, but I didn't verify. I didn't check. With can't the really movie. tell. Yeah, yeah, can't really tell from the movie. But yeah. uh, well, it's a magnet. It worked with a magnetic system. Oh yeah, there's a magnet on the just on the right side, mm -hmm. right? And we kind of have a little complaint about that. It's the position of the magnet. It's yeah. not perfect, mm. and. On the eye patch, I'll show you guys a close up. There's a metal piece. There's no medic here. The medic is inside. So for you to put it on, you really have to move it around to, to make it fit on a perfect position. But when the magnet is position is off by just a little bit, it makes it so difficult mm. to perfectly place that eye patch on his eye. Or somehow the shape of the patch is not perfect fit to... Uh, the curve is also not yeah. perfectly fit to his yeah. face, yeah. So you But may, it, it's not a big yeah. complaint, it's just little things. Yeah. yeah. It's oh. okay. I, I read that uh, actually in the movie at the beginning, they tried to make Chris uh, wear uh, um, uh, a real eye patch, but it fell down all the time. So mm. at the end, it's just CG. So this Storm one is breaker. also kind of the Stormbreaker is also controversial. Yeah. So what what's the problem with this? Um, but it's not really a problem. But uh, we think that uh, I did not again I did not check with the movie. But um, uh, we think that in the movie at the the final form of the Stormbreaker is not like this. This is the um, uh, this somewhere is in the like, middle. More like uh, 
probably from some concept art. I think that at the end of the movie, I, I mean, once the the stormbreaker is really formed, it's made. Yeah. It's made. Uh, there are less details. The yes, because we we had like a screen cap mm -hmm. from uh, from the actual movie. Mm. The handle itself is more straight. Yeah, it's not curved, and there are no details on on the grip, and you can see over here there. There's even yeah. There's a little leaf. <laughs> little that's Groot's hand, maybe the the vines and everything. Mm. They're not in that picture. Yeah. So so once yeah. again, I, I think it's because uh, what hot toys got from the licensing company yeah. is not what it's normal yeah it's normal it happens all yeah. the time and it happens to they changed, other companies yeah they change so many things at mm. last minute so uh they would not resend all the all yeah. the files to mm. the toy designers so mm. they just have to work with what they had in the beginning so this yeah. I, I don't you cannot blame hot toys yeah you cannot this. blame them and but also the size right? the size yeah but once again when you uh, when you watch the movie you I really got that impression that the size of the Stormbreaker changed all the time. From True, scene, yeah. yeah, from scene to scene, sometimes it's smaller, sometimes sometimes it's it feels bigger. Yeah, especially at the end when he struck that to Thanos. Yeah, it looks a lot bigger than this. Yes, it's yeah, because Thanos is huge, right? Yeah, and you know, uh, and and I, the blade almost got like his whole uh, top half of the yeah. body, yeah, the to entire torso, mm -hmm. and this looks kind of small. Even uh, that part when he's he throws the thing out and it spins by itself yeah. and kills all the enemy, it looks, looks kind of like big. Huge. Yeah, it looks kind of big as well. But when it goes back to his arm, it's like this size. So it's a, <laughs> it's a, it is a magical weapon anyway. So <laughs> I prefer that this version than the final version because you got more details on it. It mm. looks well, much more interesting. Yep. And of course, you have several hands uh, for holding weapons and with the palms open and I think the selling part of this set is the extra arms yeah and uh, special effect and also the thunder uh, yeah. yeah okay let's try already, to put it on yeah, yeah. it's a little bit tough but you can go don't worry it's Ugh. solid yeah the noise is nice Fuck. you have a uh, different color of uh, wrist joints Oh yeah, yeah, the the ball joints. Yeah, there are the, two two different colors. The uh, black one to goes match the, the sleeve. Yeah. Yeah. So you have the the metal uh, chainmail arm with the black color, and the skin color. Yeah. For the normal arm. And the sleeveless with the with the flesh color. Yeah, yeah. but what's fun is is uh, you have two pair of uh, skin colors. Uh, the ball spares. Joints, spares, but only one pair uh, black. Uh, black. Yeah. I don't know why. Last time we did the, the Palpatine figure yeah. and they have this new kind of uh, wire that is very thin nice. all around the cape and it's not noticeable and but at the same time you can pose it like almost yeah. any way you want so I'm very surprised that this time they don't use the same technique on this yeah figure. especially with this stand yeah. So you expect, you know, it has to, with some kind of aerial pose. So it, should, it should look like this. Yeah. Turn the fan on. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's But at the same time, unfortunate. The, yeah, yeah, the cave is really nicely done. Oh, no question about it. The, yeah. Even the middle part, you know, it, it has this uh, U-shape yeah. stitching. And it drapes really well. It's... Yeah, the only thing is it you cannot really pose it. Mm. Yeah. And I really like this arm, this pair of arms. Even I know very well that this is a PVC, but um, the, the texture is really convincing. Yes. It really yeah. looks like it's made of tiny, tiny parts of metal. Yeah. So I, I really like it. It's shiny, arms. yeah. And it actually bends pretty naturally, yeah. I guess. Of course, you cannot go like, like yeah. full bending, but no. I think it's nice enough. Yeah. yeah. And it's good that you can actually change the arms, yeah. So, cause uh, and it's not a 
deluxe version or something. It's just a regular. Yeah, it's a regular form. figure, so it's it's kind of nice for them to mm. you know let you change the look of the figure for the just the price of one, and you can have two looks. So what's the hidden uh, gimmick? There's a hidden gimmick. Right? Yeah, it's the full lightning effect of the God of Thunder. So uh, this figure is actually battery operated. Mm -hmm. There's a compartment on the back yeah. of the figure. And you can uh, switch it on. So we have to put these pieces on to show the thundering, the mm -hmm. lightning effect. Okay, let's, let's do, do it. it. Yeah. It's actually pretty bright. No, it's thunder. And this is not it. Even if you put it on, there's still one more thing you can do to make it look awesome. Ah. Yeah. So we're gonna show it after yeah. we put it on. Okay, so what's going on, guys? We turn off all the lights. And show then, some special effects. The magic. Here comes the magic. Wow. Uh, so basically, you need a UV uh, flashlight or some kind of black light. So separately. <laughs> and you can see. This material, I think, is uh, actually made for this. Especially the eyes. You can see the eyes. And it doesn't work on the other figures. But at the same time, don't you prefer real light bulbs inside the head scout? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> and you don't have to buy this. <laughs> but you know the, the effect from the, the backlight is a little bit different. See it kind of glows and you know mm -hmm. it has its own flavor to it. But try the eyes again. Okay. Is it look cool? Yeah. What's missing is the same effects around the Stormbreaker because in the movie it it kind of goes together mm. yeah. I wonder if you can just take one of these out of ah, the yeah. forearm and then put Maybe. it over there yeah. Yeah. I think it, it looks the best with this kind of effect <laughs> Bring me Thanos! We just show you the special effect with yeah. the UV light, and uh, we tried it on Hela's face, and, and her eyes doesn't, doesn't light up. So this is special. Yeah, special feature that uh, Hot Toys put on. So overall, you think this is a good figure? Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. this is one of the best uh, Thor, and maybe one of the uh, one of the most playful figure yeah. from Hot Toys. So it's totally worth the money. I think. In the beginning, I like him, but after watching the movie, I really, really like him. I think he's the most powerful character now. And he, <laughs> now he become likable. Because yeah. before, he's, of course, he's, he was a nice uh, character, but now, the, after the, th the third movie, he, he becomes the most uh, likable, funny, and yeah. interesting character. And also, he went through things. I mean, yeah. He really go through his, yeah. the journeys were interesting. So there's character development, yeah, and now they even give him more power. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm actually looking forward to see what he's gonna do in next year's movie. Yeah, and also yeah. now that uh, yesterday or, or before yesterday, uh, Chris even said something like now he's done with. Uh, Captain oh yeah, America. the the contract is uh, yeah. finished, and he's very grateful, uh, yeah. and it's it's kind. Of, I feel kind of sad. Yeah, because before, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's still my favorite um, Avenger. Um, I, I like them, uh, I mean, Iron Man and, uh, and Captain, Captain America, America and Thor, and Thor I, I kind of like them all, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, Captain America was the first Avenger Hot Toys I bought, because I really oh, like him. Oh, yeah. okay. So, um, but he didn't say anything. I mean, uh, Chris Hemsworth, he, he didn't say that he, maybe there were going to be more movies before. Mm. I don't know. I don't know, but maybe he's just waiting for another week for him to say something. Maybe you know, so they I don't, don't know. You know, put but all at the, the same time, I know that he wasn't in, uh, he wasn't uh, satisfied with the first two movies, cause he he it's, yeah it's, it's 
And then now the third movie, I, I, I think he's very happy. I the think third. the first two doesn't really match the MCU that well. Yeah, and the, also the, the mood and the tone, it's a little bit different. And Loki kind of stole his thunder in the mm. movies. Yeah, he, he does stole the show yeah. with his performance. So now that with the third movie, it started to be, become really interesting. Maybe he want to do the fourth. I don't know. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's see. Okay. Are we gonna do the side dish? Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm calling, we are calling it side dish just for <laughs> Now that with all these Me Too things going on Yeah And you dare call a woman <laughs> side dish, you're just looking for trouble <laughs> But actually, it's one of the coolest We're talking about the figure not The figure Not Not K Blanchard This is kind of like the first K Blanchard 1-6 scale yeah, figure Totally yeah. uh, I was hoping that they have like a lot of the rings uh, Kate Blanchett, but I, I don't remember I don't seeing one. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. yeah, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, I don't yeah. recall any. So it's really lucky for her that her first figure is so hundred percent accurate <laughs> herself. So, cause God knows the other actors has go through all kind of strange head scouts before yeah. getting a right one like or Or sometimes, <laughs> yeah, like Scarlett Johansson or yeah. even, I don't know what you guys think of um, uh, Elizabeth Olsen. Well, oh. people know what I think of Gal Gadot. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the faker. The faker, yeah. yeah. But uh, Elizabeth Olsen, I, I think we deserve a better one. Because mm. we got like three figures already from Hot Toys and they reuse every time the same mm. head scout and I think we deserve a better one. And also, I'm very happy that for once it's it's her body. I mean the proportion. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the head body proportion is totally her. Uh, and even the the shape of the the shoulder. The shoulder. Uh, cause what went wrong also with Wonder Woman is the the shape here. It's too too big and too uh, bulky. Right? Yeah. So really. this is brand new. You think the body is new? I'm not sure. Not uh, sure. Maybe, but um, I think it's also the shape of the head and the mm. size of the head. Yeah. Uh, is going really well with this body and uh, of course uh, I think the first thing people would say is where's the other head scout? The where one? is the <laughs> other head scout, Hot Toys? With the one with the long with hair With the long hair! Where? I think if you make that one yeah. with this, uh, I would buy it no question asked Yeah. Cause you know, uh, Hasbro, has, uh, they, they did both Yes, that, uh, and the uh, one but that's with, one, one. Uh, of course, though, there's, there's one a twelve, smaller. Yeah, one yeah. twelve scale. Um, yeah. No, it's bigger than one twelve. Oh, bigger yeah. than that. Okay. But um, I I know that uh, from toy shops here in Hong Kong, the one with long hair is the one uh, the most that demanded. That sells the most. Yeah, 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 it's gone everywhere. I think it's uh, hard to find online as well. People yeah. always tag like where and. But to be fair, I understand for, for Hot Toys, if you do two head sculpts, that will be considered as a DX yeah, series. Yeah, of course, we understand. I mean, and, it will be yeah, more expensive, blah, 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 blah. The fancier box, you know, huge box. And for this character, I understand mm. it's, it's, you know, there are a lot of other characters they could make in DX before mm. this one. So I... I and understand, yeah. Also, I understand that when they got the, the information from the licensor, they might not guess, have guessed that the Hela will become such a popular and loved character. Mm. Uh, and she's a bad guy, I mean. Yeah. So it's rare in the MCU world that uh, a bad guy from the movie becomes so uh, beloved. Well, the, the actor is famous. Yeah, you know she yeah, has a yeah. lot of fans, and also I think the and she did an excellent job. Yeah, the the character design is also very interesting, mm. um, and you know the helmet, I think on the on the other one they they make it more exaggerated. It looks even better. So mm. you know hot toys. So you are talking about the Hasbro version. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. Even on the box art, you can see like all this. Uh, all these claws coming out from the from the helmet. They it's much larger than the shoulder. It's much yeah. wider and it, yeah. it's more aggressive. But at the same time, yeah. it's like the size of the Stormbreaker. It, the size of her helmet changed may from change, scene to yeah, scene because yeah. there's CG yeah. and it may change. Yeah, mm. that's true. But uh, there's also one thing I come back to the topic of the long hair version. Yeah, because I really want it. <laughs> um, it's strange because um, we often always heard that uh, Hot Toys can only do uh, such or such um, 
look of a figure when it's really appear as it in a movie. Mm, but I know where you're going. Yeah, <laughs> but now now this um, Hot Toys give us this hand holding um, the Mioni. Yeah, breaking the Mioni actually. But in the movie, and in the movie, it's not this look. Yeah, when she do this, she has long hair. When when she was doing it, it's with the other hair. Yeah. So the, not not with the because the we helmet. always say that oh this Iron Man do not come with the open face helmet because, because in the movie it's not in the movie yeah, yeah but so it's not true <laughs> it's a myth now we become the myth breaker it's a myth now you see this is not movie yeah. accurate but if they make this and don't give you the the breaking Mjolnir it's uh, yeah it's, it's not crazy nice either. I think people will burn down the Tom Toys <laughs> building <laughs> any comment on the outfit um. But the outfit I, I didn't check with the movie like side by side with a mm -hmm. picture but um, I think the so the shoulder line kind of break the magic um, mm. I hope that I know because it's not the, easy at all because of the joint yeah, yeah the joint uh, is showing yeah yeah this I hope they could have found a solution but I think they might have tried but it, I, I can guess how difficult it could be mm. but um, but some yeah. people like it Really? Like one of our hosts, yeah. uh, uh, Curtis, yeah. and he, he actually he thinks, uh, yeah, the look is kind of destroyed by, by having the joint show, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you got a lot of articulation, you yeah. have more movement, and she's kind of like an action, um, of course, heavy yeah. character in the movie, so you can, you know, pose mm -hmm. uh, her in so many different ways. So it's you know, you, you win yeah, some, you I lose know, some, you know? know. Yeah. Oh, it's made of, uh, maybe some of you guys will be interested. It's it's made of cloth. Yeah. This is not platter, so... It maybe, lasts longer. <laughs> maybe some yeah. good news. Yeah. However, the sales screen That's may a tricky part. still, you know, it may still got uh, disintegrated over time. Mm. But not as bad as having the whole outfit, uh, you know, being, going flaky and then breaking off. Yeah. Uh, the cape it's um, made of some really soft material and once again we don't have that um, and it's not wire, wire again what's up man yeah. what's up it does look good draping down by itself yeah and uh, it, um, oh we talk about the zipper on the back uh, mm -hmm. it looks like a zipper but uh, it's it. not functional or maybe they, it was functional and, and then they took the, yeah, they the, took the, uh, the top part out so you cannot unzip it in any way don't try yeah unless you really want to you perverts <laughs> and um underneath her her outfit there's actually one layer of uh uh maybe some kind of plastic uh film or something to separate the outfit from the the plastic body mm -hmm. so there's less chance of rubbing against each other and having the the color mm -hmm. uh, transfer on the body so that's a nice touch Okay. So maybe we can go on with them. Right, try some accessories. Yeah. And stuff, yeah. So uh, like as weapons. And the boot is one piece, by the way. Yeah. So yeah. it's the uh, articulation is yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Well, the paint job is not as impressive as what we see uh, with From floor. floors. Yeah. yeah. This one is kind of. There's no paint job. No it's not. Paint it's job. paint job. It's not impressive. There's no paint job. Yeah. It's I'm just so one sorry. piece of plastic. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Sorry. Huh. <laughs> you know, at least give us some, some weathering, guys. Yeah. And this but one, you got some yeah. details. A little bit. But I, um, actually, in the movie, it looks all black also. So yeah. there's no much things that uh, Hot Toys could have done. So and on, you have uh, the, the fire effect to put on her hands. <laughs> So this is the uh, the look without the cape. Yeah, the battle look. Yeah. So these two pieces are actually different from the ones attached yeah. to the cape. Yeah, a little bit thinner. Yeah. So there are two different parts. What do you think? I think it, it, this is really the, one of the nicer, um, nicest. One of the best all, female, I would say almost nicest, with yeah. because it doesn't have the other hand. <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, just for the MCU, I mean, um, um, Star Wars figures, the female Star Wars figures are quite nice also. Mm. Yeah, but uh, if MCU is struggles a little bit. I, mean, I don't know. Toys. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this one is really, uh, to me, it's the best MCU female uh, figures. In terms of the look and, yeah. the, and the proportion yeah. and everything, yeah. Uh, accessory wise, I think it's okay. Yeah. yeah, it's average. It doesn't have a lot of accessories. Yeah, because yeah. I think that people will complain. Well, it only has two swords, and then in the movie, it got like a thousand. Yeah, you want a thousand? But it, then she, buy buy a thousand boxes of this. Yeah, but she go, <laughs> She only has two hands. If uh, if Hot Toys give you like a six sword, maybe it comes with a special transparent stand. Yeah, that you can hold uh, extra sword mm. like around. Like well, Bandai photo, did Photoshop, is, Photoshop. Photoshop is your answer. Yeah. Yeah. Or like what they did with um uh Doctor Strange. They just print oh, it. Oh just do they, a they poster. <laughs> do a poster on the back. Uh, like uh, a background do, picture. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And uh any news on Valkyrie, the other girl? No news at all. No news? Yeah. But I like I like her too. Yeah, she yeah. looks kinda nice. And the prototype looked really good. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's there's no much chance that mm. Hot Toys will complete the um, Ragnarok figures. Yeah, mm. maybe because there are so many from Infinity War and still haven't yeah. come out yet. So anyway, so if you are a fan of Kate Blanchett or you like the movie, I think this would not disappoint. That yeah, this was yeah. totally a cool one. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, uh, any anything you want to add at the end? See you next time. Okay. See you next time. Bye. Bye bye.